honestly, that could be a multitude of things. They could they could like the straw man's personality. They could uh, they could relate to them and their story coming up through the ranks to get to the the pro level. They could any number of reasons, really. I like pizza, but I'm also a really big uh, I'm a big burger guy too. So. If I could cherry pick one, the deadlift, because that's just what everybody fucking talks about is the heaviest deadlift ever. Um, for my personal abilities, probably the axle clean and press. I would love to have that. Amish country, Lancaster. Was well, never really into those those guys, to be honest, but if I had to pick one, two pot. I try to do some sort of cardio every day. I saw in a video of me doing finger finger without my hat on, that I started thinning on the top. And I am not a fan of that look at all. I am not playing with the balding look. So, off it went. I would say probably statically with deadlift. I would say that out of everything. It's either that or stones, one of those two. Training and approach is gonna stay the same. Focus hard, uh, kill every event, and bust my ass. Um, as far as goals, I would like to stay healthy. I would like to perform well at my upcoming competitions, uh, especially the Shaw Classic, and yeah. Also, I'd like to be uh, healthy going into Worlds next year, so not getting sick on the plane would be definitely awesome for me. Honestly, whatever gets the bills paid, uh, it's really, really kind of difficult to get to the level of pro strongman where all you're doing to make money for yourself is competing and sponsorships and all that. It's not the easiest to get there, so normal jobs. Do yourself a favor, brother. Look up Strength Elite Collective. It's an entire community of professional strong men and women that write up programs and, and give advice and all of that. You cannot go wrong. Highly recommend it. Check it out. Absolutely, I have a favorite spot. If you look at the entirety of the theater, I like to sit dead set in the theater, so that way I'm right in the very middle of the screen. I love that spot. That's my favorite spot. I go for it every time. If I had to say superhero, definitely either Superman, but it's probably Hulk. I really like Hulk. And not the, 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 the Avengers Hulk that they absolutely fucking ruined and destroyed the character. The real Hulk. Well, I'm up for it anytime. Davey, let's give the people what they want. I went into my first competition with T-Rex tattoos on both of my hands, and that's when I started getting called T-Rex, and the nickname just stuck, kinda stuck. I would absolutely love to train with Eddie Hall. I got the opportunity to train with him when I was getting ready for Manchester, England uh, in 2019, and I had a blast, so I'm more than, more than open to training with Eddie. I would say competing outside, plus all of uh, how hot it was and all of the different running around that we had to do. We had to take in about two gallons of water plus Gatorade stuff, and I don't, I don't know where I'd be right now if I didn't take in my hydration by uh, Team Affinity. That stuff definitely got me through. Uh, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have been able to compete this year at Worlds without it, so it definitely saved my ass, that's for sure. I would absolutely love to train with Eddie Hall. I got the opportunity to train with him when I was getting ready for Manchester, England uh, in 2019, and I had a blast, so I'm more than, more than open to training with Eddie. I was never actually in a brace. They just kept me in a sling and kept my arm wrapped up after surgery, so... Uh, but for what I did personally, my coaches just had me doing squats two to three times a week. <laughs> I almost had a stroke reading that, but I think you mean Stoltman? Yeah, I plan on beating him. I've done it before and I'll do it again. Every time a new Jurassic Park or World movie comes out, uh, I treat it as a holiday. So I'll watch all five films. I'll have my favorite food the night before. And then that, and the next night, I go to see it and I, I make a big deal out of it. I get a shirt on and everything. <laughs> I'm feeling much better. I'm almost back to my uh, my normal weight. I lost about 35 pounds, give or take, going to Worlds because of that fucking stomach virus. But I'm feeling much better now, and I'm doing the Royal Albert Hall next month, and I'm very excited about it. No. I like the hammer strength rows, mm, shoulder press, and I would say probably flat, flat press. I, I, it's a tie between those three. Yes, work on taking smaller, faster steps, working on your foot speed instead of just increasing your stride speed because I'm telling you right now, if you take shorter, faster steps, you will move at a faster pace. The only competitions I can think of that allow touch and go deadlifts are CrossFit, so unless you're trying to do CrossFit, I wouldn't. Not to mention you're just working on your overall deadlifting strength if you reset each rep. I cheered for just about everybody. Um, I had favorites with Bobby Thompson and Brian Shaw. 
Uh, but overall, I just cheered for everybody because in Strongman, we like to see everybody do well. So, all of them. We went to go see The Conjuring 3. I enjoyed it, and she, not so much. <laughs> Static strength-wise, it's a run between Big Z and Eddie Hall. Overall strong, I would say probably Brian Shaw or Big Z. Brian Shaw in a yoke and frame medley. <laughs> if they do, I tell them to pay me in food, and usually that deters them from asking me again. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Really surprising. I mean, that... The reigning champion not even making it to the finals doesn't happen very often, so it was pretty surprising. I would say pretty healthy. For the most part, we all care about each other, we all like each other, and we all want to see each other do well and succeed, so I would say it's pretty strong. Weight training. Yeah, genuinely speaking, I thought I was good enough for podium this year too, but just it, it ultimately just comes down to shit luck. It really does. So I'm going to pick myself up, get ready for the next one, and I'll be ready by next year. I go into every competition that I do looking to win, so... It's that winner, winner's mindset. I, I won't change it. I, I am going to I am going to win Worlds next year. Plain and simple. I know I would have podiumed. I know I would have podiumed. I like doing ladder drills. A lot of what they do in the uh, NFL Combine. Uh, just working on foot speed and getting faster steps. That's the stuff that I like to do. Hummer tire deadlift? I have no idea. It'd be cool to break a thousand. Um... If I, at the Shaw Classic, if I'm feeling good and I'm really focusing my training on that one hard. So if I can hit 460, I'd be happy. It's not really an idea that I came up with. It's more of I get to that spot mentally where I'm just super angry and aggressive and all of that. And that everything that you see me do after that is just a result of me being as angry. I don't do it on purpose. I just do it. I just think it's funny when people say, like, you get so worked up and excited and all that before your lift and all that. It's dumb and it's cringe and all that. I think it's funny because I don't do it for anybody else. It just, it's something that I have found that works for me. That's why I do it. First of all, you need to eat more bananas. Second of all, I really like stiff-legged deadlifts. It really targets the glutes, the hamstrings, a little bit of the calves. I really get a lot out of stiff-legged deadlifts. I really do. Man, Novikov was in a tough group where literally like four out of the five guys that were in there could have fucking made the finals. So he, it just wasn't meant to be this year. That doesn't make him not be an elite athlete. It really doesn't. He still is. And I've seen Brian train in person, and I was in person when I saw him competing at Worlds. If you watched Worlds and don't think that Brian is still capable of getting five, you're out of your fucking mind. Like, you are. <laughs> I started training strongman when I was, oh god, 26, I think, 25 or 26, and um, I had the dream of winning World's Strongest Man two weeks into my training. I saw the pirated version on YouTube. <laughs> I've been keeping up with that. I'm, I'm big into like updates on all that good stuff. I'm looking forward to the movie. I really am. It's apparently going to be the last one for a while, so I hope it's good. hope there's a lot of T-Rex. Well, I appreciate the support, brother. I really do, and this is only the beginning. I have a lot of years of strongman left in me, and I'm going to be pushing for that World's Strongest Man title every single year. So keep up the support, and I'll see you at the Shaw Classic. I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. I do, but there are certain stretches, and, and obviously my massage gun helps me a lot, and I just do everything I can to kind of deal with it and just work through the pain. Yeah, most of the shows that I do are Giants Live, and uh, they always do meet and greets at the end of the competition, so I always do those meet and greets, and if you wanted to contact me, I would guess just send me a message on here. I personally wear the soft belt um, by Evolution Athletics. They make an amazing soft belt. Um, yeah, that's the one that I use. It keeps my mobility up, but it also gives me lower back support. Absolutely, I love both of those bands. <laughs> uh, I choose to take that as a compliment. I do. Um, Eddie Hall was really good at getting eyes on him. He was good at making a little bit of a spectacle of himself, getting the crowd involved, and he was one of the best. So, so I'll definitely take that as a compliment. So I'm, I'm just looking to win worlds as many times as I can. I'd say that's the only difference between me and Eddie. I'm also better at talking shit. 
I am getting ready for the Giants Live Strongman Classic held at the inaugural Royal Albert Hall, and it's going to be a really awesome event. I'm really, really excited for it. Oh, absolutely. I get sore all the time from my training. Um, I would say not necessarily sore, more just like like worn down because that heat took a lot out of us and the events were hard, so I would say just drained more. Don't neglect your back and leg accessories. I did a lot of squats when I tore my bicep and sure enough, my leg drive for my deadlift went up and my deadlift went up, so don't neglect your accessories, kids. Oh God, don't even get me started on this topic. I've, oh God, I've gotten into so many arguments about shit like this. T-Rex would win in a fight one-on-one -on -one against Spinosaurus every single goddamn time. And if you don't think that, then you're wrong. Literally nobody has ever told me that, ever. So, I don't know how to take that. Thank you? God damn it, there's always one question. <laughs> there's always one that's like this. Uh, 50 chicken-sized T-Rexes for me. Oh, God. I haven't heard anything about the UK scare, but... God, I hope it, it's still going on. It's supposed to be July 24th, and I really, really fucking hope that it goes on as scheduled. Hmm. Probably something to match my amazingly awful looks as a woman. I think I'd be a fucking hideous woman, so probably like Bertha or Helga. Something very scary and intimidating. <laughs> One of the deadlift world championships again? Hmm. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Hell, I told Brian while I was out there if he wanted me to come up again and train with him or he wanted to come here, if he ever did want to do that, I'd be more than happy to. Hell yeah. He's... I'm always going to be up for a training session with Brian. Hell yeah. If I'm invited, I'll be there. There's always something that needs to be improved on, so I could work on my cardio and my stones, maybe deadlift for reps a little bit better. So, I'll work on that. Definitely try to get more mainstream with it. I mean, I, I don't really think about that stuff too, too much. I just want the sport to grow and I want to do what I can, but I would say probably get it in the eyes of the mainstream a little bit more. I would love to hit over 200 kilos, 441 for my American brothers and sisters. Um, yeah, I would like to hit 200 kilos plus. I don't know about that. Usually, the giant shows that I have done have a meet and greet after the competition's done. I don't know if they're going to be doing that again or not, but I'll I'll talk to some people and figure something out. Try. I'm going to get a brand new truck. <laughs> it's awesome uh, because it tells me that I'm I'm doing something right and I'm all my work is paying off at the same time. I don't really think about that too, too much because I'm not number one yet, and number one's what I want to be. <laughs> That's my ammonia. I smell that before big lifts or just really to get me in the right headspace for the lift. That is made by Team Affinity, and it is called Kick in the Dick, and it's awesome. Highly recommend it. I wanted to do something that was weightlifting related, and I just got out of bodybuilding, and I did one show. I wasn't a big fan of bodybuilding as a whole, so I wanted something weightlifting that was competitive, and my next step was strongman, and I fell in love with it. Uh, after I graduated high school, I was offered a tryout in Florida, and I went down there. I tried out for a week, and like a month or two later, they offered me a three-year contract at 18. Yeah, I'm super looking forward to it, too.